about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hello and welcome back to another week of family dinner ideas If you are new here then my name is Vicky and I'm a mum of three boys and I do a lot of food related content on this channel shopping hauls, meals of the week, cook with me's, pack lunch videos, all that kind of thing We also do family vlogs as well so if you do enjoy that kind of channel then I'd love it if you would hit subscribe and stick around Sorry if you can hear snowing in the background it is the dogs as usual when I pick up the camera they decide to get their loudest so we're going to go and have a look at what we've eaten over the course of the last week or so So we are just about to make some pasta for tonight and I've got some veg here that we've chopped up peppers tomatoes and leeks so I just sprinkled the vegetables with some garlic powder and some onion powder and then topped it with some salt and pepper and popped them in the oven it took about 30 minutes for them to get really nice and soft and sticky and brown around the edges so I put two large chicken breasts in an oven proof dish and then I just sprinkled on some smoked paprika some cumin powder and some mild chili powder as well so once our chicken and vegetables had all cooked in the oven, I removed the chicken from the baking dish and added the vegetables back into it, leaving all the nice tasty juices in the bottom. Whilst it was all in the oven, we had cooked some pasta, so I mixed this in with the vegetables as well. Then I added some garlic and herb Philadelphia cream cheese and very carefully mixed it together in hindsight maybe i should have mixed it in a big mixing bowl first but i just dumped it all in and stirred it around i then covered the mixture with grated cheddar cheese put the sliced chicken breast on the top in a nice little pattern and then we grated some parmesan on top of that this was one of the most amazing throw together meals i've ever made it was so nice and when it was finished it looked like something you'd buy it in a restaurant and adding the parmesan gave the chicken a really nice crunch i don't use parmesan enough in my cooking but it was so nice especially like oven baked it goes really crispy so definitely a thumbs up from both me and my helper and going, we're rolling! <laughs> and action! <laughs> do, do, do. And it shows. It does it again. Now I've got to turn dish it out. Which one that is going to be a mission. Mm. I might need two, I might go in with two. <laughs> Ten blade. Ten blade. Oh. Maybe if I shuffle it. Mm. Do you think if I like, if I dig under it? I think there's going to be no pretty way to get it out. Oh, you're doing good though. Oh, I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. I thought I could be a surgeon. A food surgeon. <laughs> a food surgeon. <laughs> I could be a person surgeon. Draw more pasta than that. Uh, a little bit please. Yeah, you got some of the good stuff. Another scoop. Hey, that's my, is that your bit of chicken or mine? I don't know. <laughs> that little what, what do you there? mean Look. yours or mine? Well, this is your dish. But there was a bit there that didn't look like it came off either of them. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yours. You're still rolling. Yeah? Shit, my fault's over there. <laughs> It's not a chicken baby. <laughs> it is. It's not. I feel like I've just delivered this chicken <laughs> breast. Like four steps. Of... Oh, actually, that's way too much. <laughs> Put some back it's in. It's like one of those. You can't um, do that, kids. It's the game. It's one of those games, isn't it? Arcade yeah. game. So here we are, all dished up. And as you saw, that was a <laughs> surgical operation. <laughs> it was so childish. But this is a Philadelphia and roasted vegetable pasta with parmesan chicken with some smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, and everything else we could throw in there really. And it looks amazing. <laughs> Nicely modelled by my husband Steve. <laughs> so this is what we have for our dinner tonight. So for dinner tonight I have made some chicken skewers in a barbecue marinade. I've done some roasted cauliflower with some curry powder to season it 
and I just popped it in the oven with some oil spray on that and then I've done some beef savoury rice so this is what we're having tonight so for tonight's dinner I made a corn dish to go with pasta this is just the corn chicken pieces and basically I used some tinned tomatoes a chicken stock pot some chopped onions chopped peppers some garlic some cumin and I just put it all together in a big dish and just let it cook down. The corn doesn't take very long at all. And then in the cupboard I had a tin of butter beans that I wanted to use up. So I added those in as well. And then we just served this over pasta. And it was really, really good. And I really like throw together meals that don't take too much planning. And everyone really enjoyed it. After night's dinner I've just done some Aberdeen Angus burgers from Lidl. They're the deluxe ones. I'll show you the box actually. Turn it upside down. They are these ones, Angus beef quarter pounders, gluten free, and they've got salt and black pepper. And when I had a look, they are 99% Irish beef. So, got those in some brioche buns. This is Bailey's one. He's got two cheese slices, he's got ketchup, and some oven chips. And that's what's for dinner tonight. So, I'm just about to cook some steak because we are having a nice meal tonight. and. I wanted to try it on our grill, this video isn't sponsored but we were gifted this grill just for the sake of the CMA guidelines and things. Um, this grill was gifted to us but we haven't been asked to promote it in this video but I really like it. But what I'm trying to say is there is a function on here, if I zoom in a little bit, are you going to focus? There is a function on here where you can choose steak, burger or chicken. So if I turn it on and I choose steak which is program one, if I press OK, then it actually is, I don't know if you can see it's flashing there, which is rare, or you can press one more for medium or one more for well done. So I've never tried to cook steak on one of these, I've always done it in a frying pan. So what I'm gonna do, I think, are we gonna go for medium? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go for medium. So if I press it one more, you can see now I've moved that it's flashing on the medium. So then if I press OK again, it will now heat up. So when I put the steaks on, now it's heating up, I'll shut it for a bit. When I put them on, it should work out how thick they are and then they should come out as medium steaks. This is sirloin steak and all I've done is opened it to let it breathe. I've put a little bit of oil on and some black pepper. So I'm just gonna leave those to one side, let it heat up and then just put the steak on and let it do its job and hopefully it'll come out medium cooked but I'm not sure because I don't know if I trust it or not but we'll see what happens. I've also got the veg that you just saw which is asparagus and tomato and then we've got some stuffed mushrooms and some dough from our potatoes in the oven. So I will let this heat up and then we'll see what happens. Satisfying. <laughs> Yeah, right, let's see what it says. To work it out. Two minutes? Oh, wow. We've got ten. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we'll see. Two and a half. No. No. Two and a half minutes? They don't. Maybe. It's not been long so far. We've got our dope and our potatoes in our little dishes. I'm just going to grate some parmesan on them and then we're going to pop them back in the oven. <laughs> Why is it leaking? Oh, that means it's on rare and then it will keep cooking so it's well done. That's the steak. Yeah, we're just going to pop this on and put it back in the oven, although it's going everywhere. But potatoes. They look good though. They do. We've yeah. given it an extra minute because it was really pink in the middle. But you can kind of see it's still pink in the middle but not like it was oozing blood which is not the kind of meat we like. So we've given it an extra minute and we're going to dish it up now. Let it sit for a minute or two so it rests and then dish up the rest of it. So here we are dished up. We've got some dough from our potatoes with parmesan cheese. We've got a cheese and Philadelphia stuffed mushroom with some breadcrumbs, some asparagus, vine ripened tomatoes and our steak. So we've both got the same and it looks really good and the steak smells amazing. So we're looking forward to it, aren't we? Yeah, it looks really good. 
So this is what we're having for our dinner tonight. So this was actually a lunch. It was lettuce, bacon, tomato and mayo wraps. But I did the bacon on the grill and if you put it on its highest setting, it honestly takes about 40 seconds and it goes really, really crispy and there's no mess because these pans go straight in the dishwasher. So really good for bacon. So for tonight's dinner I made an absolutely mammoth fish pie, this dish is huge, um, we had Steve's mum over for dinner so I wanted to make something nice, there is a full recipe of this over on the channel mum website and I will leave that link down below, it's such a simple recipe, it's got hidden veg in it, there's leeks, there's spinach, there's peas, there's all sorts of things and the boys really really like it. I used double the ingredients for this recipe because we wanted to feed the six of us plus lots of leftovers but it's so simple to make so I'll leave the link down below. So last night when we actually had the fish pie I forgot to film it dished up because we had Steve's mum over for dinner and everything was a bit crazy trying to get it all out so Steve and I have actually got the leftovers tonight but there was a lot more sauce left than fish and mash so basically we've got a few bits of fish with the leftover carrots and broccoli and then we've got a couple of bits of fish in there mashed potato and mostly sauce and peas but it's in the fridge and this is what we want to use up so this is what we've got Steve's mum really liked it and it was really good it went down really really well that dish I used is absolutely huge and it took a lot longer to cook than I thought it would but yeah really good so this does look like soup but it is actually leftover fish pie so for tonight's dinner I'm making corned beef spaghetti bolognese I suppose I call it, we call it corned beef spaghetti. Basically it is the same as spaghetti bolognese but instead of using mince I use tinned corned beef. It's a different one but it's one that I've always had since I was a little girl, my dad used to make it all the time. I basically make it the same as I make my spaghetti bolognese so I'll leave that link down below, there's a separate video if you want to see how I do it. It's onions, garlic, Worcestershire sauce, tinned tomatoes, tomato puree, stock, and the full method is in the video so I'll leave that link down below if you want to check it out but basically you just let it simmer once it's all been cooked together and then you cook your pasta and put it over the top and add some cheese and the only thing I do differently is I don't add salt to this because corn beef is quite salty anyway so leave out the salt but apart from that it's the same recipe and just use tin corn beef and it comes out really nicely we've served it with some spiral pasta and grated parmesan on top or you can add grated cheddar and we do love this in sandwiches and I know in America sometimes corned beef can be like a joint of beef that they've either pickled or soaked in brine and it's a bit more pastrami like but ours comes from a tin. So that's it for this week, I really hope you have enjoyed this video, if you have make sure to check out the playlist of them, there's 70 odd link down below and come back for our shopping hauls and family vlogs and all our other kind of videos and I will see you guys very very soon in our next video. This is what we waited for.